Hi guys, so the Transport Secretary Grant Shapps defended corruption basically on the BBC when he was interviewed for the Today programme. Now this is in relation to the Advisory Board, a body that was set up by the Tories to allow rich donors to dictate policy. He's dead set against publicly funded political parties, it seems, which would do away with the need for donors, and I wonder why he's against that. Now let's listen to Grant attempt to defend corruption here, which is frankly disgusting. The cabinet as a former Conservative Party chairman, how comfortable are you with the news that you can pay £250,000 to the Conservative Party and be granted regular secret meetings with the Prime Minister and the Chancellor? Uh, well, look, I've not been involved or seen these um, the this, this story, but what I can tell you is I the, the party very, very carefully, as all parties must, adheres to whatever the rules and regulations are in place in terms of donations, uh, and uh, and and do so to to the to the letter. And so the problem is that political parties have legalised corruption. They have put in place a mechanism to allow rich and powerful donors to donate to political parties. But this is anti-democratic. Uh, well, there is a Conservative advisory board, as revealed by the Financial Times, and uh, the party has told us that it's for an update on the political landscape. So, in a sense, the rules aren't what matter. It's morality here, isn't it? Uh, are you comfortable with the idea that writing a cheque for a quarter of a million pounds grants you regular secret access to the two well, look, leading look, members of this government? Look, I, I think as a country, or as all countries do, you have to make a decision about how you're going to fund your politics. And you either say we're going to tax people in order to fund political parties, an idea which I suggest wouldn't be overwhelmingly supported uh, by, the, by the public, and rightly so. Uh, and rightly so. Why? Why, Grant, are you against the idea of publicly funded political parties? Because if you don't have a fund, if you don't have a party funded by taxpayers, somebody else is going to fund that party, and who's going to fund the party? Business owners, billionaires, multi-millionaires, and is the party going to listen to the public, or are they going to listen to the billionaires and millionaires and business owners? Because if it's publicly funded, then the politicians, who are they going to listen to? They're going to listen to the voters. But if they're funded by billionaires and millionaires, who are the part? Who is the party going to listen to then? Or you have to fundraise, and and when you uh, fundraise, um, people should understand it doesn't give you any say over anything that goes on in government. Uh, but you're of course very welcome to to hear about uh, our, our policies and what we plan to do. And, they must uh, be fantastically you know, naive. Also, these very rich men. Do you think they really got that rich oh, well, by writing well, a cheque for a quarter of a million pounds to have influence over nothing? Fantastic. This is Nick Robin Robinson from the Today program. Fantastic. Exactly. What sort of millionaire or billionaire writes a cheque to the value of £250,000 to have no influence over Boris Johnson or the Chancellor Rishi Sunak? Really? Let's, you know, let's call a spade a spade here. It's corruption. These millionaires and billionaires are handing over huge sums of money to the Conservative Party in order for the Conservative Party to do their bidding. Well, no, do you think that when they bit. walk into the room in Downing Street with the Prime Minister and the Chancellor, they think it's just possible that their quarter of a million pounds will get them a hearing? I'd say that there are a lot of people um, in this country who believe in this country and want to see it prosper and may have views about what will, you know, the, the things to do that will make the country uh, prosper. Wouldn't it be better if these multimillionaires actually gave money to food banks or gave money to political parties that are against the idea of food banks? You know, how are you making the country better by giving Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak or other cabinet ministers tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of pounds to make the country better? Isn't that the job of the political party? Is it the job of millionaires and billionaires to make the country better by handing over cash to politicians whose job is meant to be it's you know maybe i'm stupid here but isn't it the job of politicians to represent the public 
to look after public interest, not private interest. And so supporting a political party should not, in my view, be painted as some sort of immoral act. <laughs> See what he's doing here? He's saying, he's saying if you give money, huge sums of money to a political party, there's nothing wrong with that. There is, in, in a sense, there isn't something wrong with giving money to a political, political party unless you want something in return. That's the problem here. Most people who donate to a political party want something in return. And if they're handing over tens and hundreds of thousands of pounds, they certainly want something done in return. They're bypassing democracy here. It, I can't say it any clearer. This is bypassing democracy because democracy is about the general public, voters, voting party, voting for parties according to their policies in a perfect world. But if you're able to bypass that system and hand a politician, the Prime Minister or the Chancellor of the Exchequer, hundreds of thousands of pounds, then what's the point in having a democracy? What's the point in having el elections and political parties? Because you, you are superseding that. You are overtaking democracy here. Uh, actually, I think when people um, stand up for their beliefs and support a party, whether that's by joining a political party at local constituency level or indeed donating to a political party. There's, not there's a huge difference between supporting a political party by allocating some of your time to do fundraising or to do uh, organise events for that political party, knocking on doors, whatever. There's a huge difference between doing that and a millionaire or billionaire handing over cash in order to speak with the Prime Minister. I've said this before, it's corruption. Some people call it cronyism. I prefer the word corruption because it's corrupting not just the politicians at the top, but it's also corrupting democracy. It's rendering democracy obsolete. Because what's the point in you going down to the ballot box every four or five years, voting for a political party, taking the time and effort to do that, when somebody else can come along and they hand a politician a huge envelope full of cash and they get to decide public policy. What's the point in a political party saying, we're going, we care about the poor or we care about the working class or we care about levelling up the country, when somebody else can come along and say, actually, don't spend money on the poor, don't spend money on the, on the working class, don't level up the country. Do what I want you to do. And here is the money in order to do so. Corruption. That's it. Of course, Grant would prefer, we don't call it corruption. He'd prefer it to be called funding political parties. But that's what it is. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons you ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?